Welcome back everybody, Canadian Silver Saver here and today I'm excited to show you some of my online contest wins where I entered to try and win some different silver items and I was quite successful over the last little while. I mean, I've got two videos to show it all off once the rest of it comes in uh, but we'll start with this one here and uh, when you get involved in raffles or online contests and things like that, if there's costs involved, remember everybody, uh, you know, don't do any gambling or anything like that if you uh, if you can't keep it controlled, that's for sure. I'm very controlled with my purchases that way and how much I'll spend on it, and uh, it was quite successful. So let's get right to the first item here, and this is the uh, uh, one of the pieces of gold that I was able to pick up. So you ready for this giant piece of gold? Here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so a little one grammar. Uh, camera's not even want to pick that guy up. Ooh. I'm actually using a new uh, new phone camera here today. The okay. phone is going away. There we go. It's working. So we've got little one gram Canadian maple. Um, so this was in a raffle, uh, and I didn't spend a whole lot at all. I spent twelve dollars to enter, and I won this little guy. That's kind of fun. Do stuff like that. It's not often I'll, I'll enter for, for gold and that, but I was on a bit of a hot streak, so I thought, ah, what the heck. And I remember high fiving Kate and said, I'm going to win some gold today. She said, <laughs> kind of laughed and said, okay, and I did. Um, so, positive thoughts, right? So, that was the first little piece that uh, came my way. And then the next piece that came in was uh, from another raffle as well. And I entered this, and again, this one cost me, I think it was $8 to pick a spot so I did that and boom so this is really sweet because I'm a baseball lover and a baseball fan I know not it's not everybody's thing uh, my wife loves baseball um, there we go hard pressed to get her to sit down and uh, watch a movie to be honest but she'll sit down and watch a baseball game or a double header even two games in a row and uh, it's quite interesting so um, she loves her baseball and um, I do too as an old ball player this is really cool because of the shape of it. It's got the concave, convex to it. Monarch Precious Metals makes these. There's only 10,000 of them, see it right on there? It says limited edition. That's really, really cool. I like that piece for sure. There. I, I just bid on that one because I liked it. And uh, again, for, for me, anything that I get that is for my stack, um, the reason why I like pieces like this is it's different, it's unique. I really don't like collecting the same thing. It, um, I have no, I don't get any fun out of it if I'm just buying maple after maple or eagle after eagle. Um, so I like the, the unique items like this. Obviously, with something like this, if I resell it, I'm definitely up. But uh, that's not always the case. But items that I like, uh, this this is the way to stop me going out and spending it. So if I have maples and eagles, those, those are the ones that I'll, I'll cash in or trade in or flip and stuff like that a lot faster than things like this that I really, really enjoy. In fact, this is something because I'm such a ball ball player and ball fan, um, it's going to stick around as long as I can think of. So, um, I was talking to my son about this, so just to kind of, let's, let's, well, we ooh and all over a couple of pieces here. It was really cool that uh, in the last week, my son turned turned 18 years old and it was I, I really enjoyed um, hanging out with him for the day and we were chatting about some stuff and he wanted to go to the coin store he brought it up to me he wanted to go to, to, to the LCS I've talked about investments I've talked about um, purchasing and how to save for the future and he was really intrigued by it and he loved it uh, when I started to explain about why I started doing a lot more of this than I used to in the past and uh, basically I, I kind of explained it as um, See, I like to collect. I like to purchase things. I do. It is something that I that I enjoy to do. I enjoy going out looking for something unique. I like the strange, the unusual, the unique, and the different. Um, whether it's in uh, gold and silver or in other collectibles, like um, not a comic book guy really that much, but signed merchandise. Uh, I'm definitely a, a toy collector and things like that. And what happens when you're doing toy collecting or comic collecting or anything, any type of collecting? Those, there's no guarantee on those those purchases. And there's no guarantee when you're purchasing silver and gold necessarily, apart from the intrinsic value of the actual silver and gold. So what this does is it allows me to go out, even if I spend a few dollars over spot, and some people say, well, you know, why buy 
why buy pandas? Why buy these things? Um, you know, if you pay full price for them, when you can just buy maples, get closer to spot. I think a lot of what we do, at least for me, so let's speak to what I enjoy, is I enjoy the hunt, I enjoy the process. And if I was to go out, and I didn't do this, if this wasn't a hobby and a, a lifestyle of mine, really, uh, there's a very good likelihood that I would be spending money doing something else, whether it was on fishing equipment or whether it was on hunting equipment or uh, baseball equipment, maybe, or whatever it may be. And uh, now those are great things to do, great hobbies to have, but uh, my my biggest uh, enjoyment is hunting and finding and collecting things. It really is a big part of uh, something that makes me feel whole as a person. So by finding a way to feed that hobby and that collector in me, while investing in the sa- investing at the same time, it really is. I'm saving money while I'm doing what I enjoy to do, and I thought that that was so cool. Once it kind of clicked, that I'm still getting all the enjoyment out of the hunt, the find, the search. At the same time, I've got down very good down payment for a house, uh, you know, set aside on a uh, an investment. Whereas where if I did that with toys and whatnot the process of selling that stuff is different um and then there's also the reality if something was to go wrong in life knock on wood that doesn't happen um but uh then you know it's a lot harder for my family to understand and move toys and collectibles than it is to move metal now of course something like this maybe um, they're not going to get the full value of if they just take it into an lcs there's still the you know, the one ounce of, of silver in here that's going to give them a good chunk of money um, that they really can't worry too much about. So I think that that was a great way to do it. And I explained it to my son kind of like, to me, silver and gold investing for a collector is, or anybody that has a habit of spending, is a great way to kind of vape yourself off of spending. If you collect silver and gold items, you're vaping off of your habits that, that took your finances away into something that would never give you any return. So what I've been doing is over the you know years I've been vaping um, off of my other collection collectibles. So I don't smoke anymore. <laughs> I did never smoke, but if if you consider my other collections uh, smoking, I now vape by uh, you know taking care of that habit and that uh, need and that want all at the same time while really putting money aside for my family and my future. So if we can look at it that way for the collectors out there and the people that wonder why people will spend so much over spot or buy a painted coin or something like that, think about it that that person is actually controlling themselves and putting that money towards something that will at least have an intrinsic value for them and their family in the future. And uh, it's just a really cool way I thought to look at things. That's how I explained it to my son, and now my son's on board, and he's loving the uh, uh, the hunt and whatnot. So, uh, thanks for everybody who listened to that. Just thought it was something to share. So let's quickly get on to the next, uh, the the last pickup for what what I got, and uh, it's another piece of uh, gold. Uh, this thing's a lot of fun. Uh, same thing though. <laughs> Here we go. Poof. <laughs> got another uh, one ounce or one gram. One ounce. Yeah, I wish one grammar of gold here. Uh, so this was in another raffle actually. Uh, this one, I think I spent like $15 on that raffle and, and I went. And that was uh, part of my budget and I won everything you see here. Then I'm going to be at the, um, no, I might, one gram golds are fun, but I might flip them and buy other silver with it. Uh, another thing that I, I, I tend to do is between either raffles, auctions, sales, stuff like that, any few dollars that I can make off of this stuff, um, I tend to flip back into the business and then get into buying myself some free ounces by doing those flips, right? So uh, stay tuned for my next upcoming video because when it comes to my raffle and auction and contest wins because I've got some great pieces to show off, some fun, unique pieces of silver and a really old piece of gold from 1851 that I won. It's just absolutely beautiful, but also cool that I was able to win these pieces, just having some fun along the way. If you did like the video, everybody, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out. And if you uh, have any comments about how, you know what I was making uh, references to collecting silver and gold as a way to kind of manage your spending habits, uh, let me know if you do that as well, if you've ever thought about it like that, or if maybe this was the first time you've looked at it that way. Is this something that you could uh, use to teach uh, somebody, a friend, family member, or you know one of your children about how they can... Um, you know, manage their spending by by collecting at least something with uh, some 
real value behind it, right? So let me know your thoughts on that. I just thought it was something different, and I'd really like to get some real uh, conversation going. Um, it'd be, that'd be wonderful. So remember to hit that subscribe button, everybody. Really, uh, if you want to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos, you hit that little bell as well. Uh, that'll make sure you get the alerts, at least for the most part. And I do have my 1,000 subscriber giveaway still going on. I'm uh, almost there, and just uh, once we hit that, I've got three great prizes to give away, and I don't think anybody's going to want to miss out on that. So share it. Head on over to the Silver Forum to make sure you enter through the link there. And uh, yeah, thanks, everybody. We'll see you in the next video, and take care. Canadian Silver Saver, out.